How do we access um, pre-heaven original chi in our body? Now, pre-heaven original chi I'm talking about here is, is the chi that exists um, beyond the physical body, right? So we have, we have the energy that we work with in the physical body, the channels and whatnot, um, but there is more. There, there is deeper levels of, of energy that we can access. Um, some, um, and we can go through uh, these various openings called mysterious passes um, to access um, this kind of chi. And how do we do that? Well, inner hearing is one way that we can use to, to gain access. Uh, there are various methods we use. Uh, um, stillness is the most important. Uh, so learning what stillness is and, and quiet sitting. Um, and how to apply stillness. Um, but we also have uh, other methods. Um, for example, we have inner seeing and inner hearing. And inner seeing and inner hearing are sister skills um, that when applied can um, um, give us effects, results with internal alchemy. Um, now I'm speaking internal alchemy for, for me. Uh, and the lineage I teach is a very specific set of skills. So it's not a general uh, term for um, energy development or, or qigong or whatnot. This is a very specific um, set of skills, which I've talked about in, in other talks. So inner hearing here is how do we gain, um, how do we gain benefit with that? However, if you have a, if you're from another lineage or you have another sort of practice, uh, such as qigong or whatnot, then inner hearing can also be beneficial um, for you. Um, give it a try. So what I'm going to do in this talk is, is talk about what it is um, and why it's good for you. And, uh, and, then it, and then we'll talk about how to do it. Okay? Okay, so uh, inner hearing and inner seeing. Let's set aside inner seeing for now and just focus on inner hearing. So inner hearing. There are five, four or five kinds of hearing in Taoist practice. Um, there is uh, far hearing, yuan ting, uh, near hearing, jin ting, uh, turnaround hearing, fan ting, uh, and inner hearing, nei ting. There's also a fifth one that sometimes comes into it called wu ting, which is just um, no hearing or moving beyond hearing. Now hearing or ting uh, within um, within Taoist practice, and I, I think more broadly too, within Chinese internal arts and energetic practice, uh, is, is a profound sense, right? It's something that, it, it's quite profound. It's more profound than seeing. Hearing is, 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 is more profound. Um, and we'll go into the different levels of hearing and um, where, that, where that profundity comes from, right? Um, but for now, let's just focus on the inner hearing. Why inner hearing? Well, uh, inner hearing gives us access to energetic phenomena happening inside the body, um, outside the body as well. Uh, but for now, let's just focus inside the body. Um, and for the, the, the Taoists, uh, they have a saying that where there is movement, there is sound. And where there is sound, there is movement. Um, right? And where there's stillness and movement are, are opposed, right? You have this, this relationship between stillness and movement. Um, so we, we, we cultivate stillness or extreme stillness and out of that stillness comes, uh, comes movement. Uh, and that movement um, is uh, energetic processes that are, that are happening. Uh, and with that movement, there is sound. So <laughs> coming from the other direction, we can use our inner, we can learn this skill called inner hearing to tune into that movement and begin um, um, activating it and mobilizing it from that direction, right? Now, another way to think about this is um, that with internal alchemy practice, w the most important thing is, is, is getting the inian into the body. That's, that's your foundation, right? Even before building qi, we just need to get our inian. Our, so our inian means awareness. Um, we need to get our awareness into our body, right? So normally when we go about our day, our awareness is arrayed outwards. We have these senses uh, and, and they go outwards and that's a good, that's a good setup, right? It helps us drive cars and, and um, navigate around in a fairly complex, fast-moving world. However, 
what we are doing when we're on the mat, crossing our legs and sitting meditation is pulling our awareness into the body, right? And you can do it standing, moving and, and lying down as well. But um, uh, generally in our lineage, we do it mostly sitting, which we'll talk about later in this talk. Um, and bringing that awareness into our body um, is great. Um, you know, you just focus on the body and then focus inside the body. But there are other, way, other ways that we can um, um, help um, supplement that, that, uh, that mechanism, right? And inner seeing, inner hearing are two of those. So if we can try and listen inside the body, we're going to get more traction, getting our awareness inside the body. And then if we, with eyes closed, focus our seeing inside the body, which is discussion for another day, we can get even more, right? And our hearing and our seeing are also connected with our E and our Shen. Um, and so by focusing our hearing and our seeing, we are mobilizing our E and our Shen. So E here is uh, awareness. Let's stick with awareness. Um, and Shen is, is spirit. Um, not the greatest translation, but you know, what is, right? Uh, and so we can use our senses to focus more radically inside the body, right? And so inner hearing, let's get into the, the kind of the nitty gritty, the nuts and bolts of, of how inner hearing works. So um, we're gonna keep it simple today. So we'll, we'll ignore the other kinds of, of hearing uh, and just focus on inner hearing. Um, and that is just try to hear, you try to listen inside your body, right? So the way we can do this is go into cross-legged uh, sitting meditation, close the eyes, relax the body, um, prepare body and mind um, for maybe 10 to 20 minutes. So that, that means just entering stillness, right? So uh, letting the, the random thoughts blow away, um, and allowing the, the body to become still and stable. Eyes are closed for this, um, so we don't do it with eyes open. Uh, and then we focus inside the body. The easiest way to do that is focus on breath. There are lots of other ways, but we can focus on the breath to help get our awareness inside the body. Then at some point, start listening. Use your ears. So think of this literally. Don't think of this just as sort of fancy poetic metaphor. Um, we actually want to listen. Uh, I don't know why. I know through experience that if you do it that way, you will get results, right? So if you actually approach it literally, you will get results. That's all I know. If you don't, you won't. So think about your ears literally listening inside the, um, the, inter the interior human universe, right? So in our, our lineage, we have the, the guided instructions that tell us to... Uh, um, gather in our senses and listen within. Listen to the sounds of the human universe, right? And so um, listen to the sounds, also listen to the changes of the human universe, different ways of saying it. And so just listen inside, you know, just grab an object. Maybe it's um, the sound of your breathing, right? Breathing is, a no is the noisiest in the body. Uh, it, then the whole um, respiratory system air going in and out of your lungs it's, it's noisy um, and so every i'm pretty much i'm pretty sure most people can hear their breathing so that's a good place to start however if we want to go deeper and more still then find your heart and the circulatory system uh, find the heartbeat right so focus on your heart and the eyes closed see if you can hear your heartbeat this is an excellent way of going into meditation um, be careful not to, to um, um, use strong, too strong a focus because the heart is delicate, but just gently, softly drop down into your body and try to listen to your heart. Um, and that's a, a, um, a lower th threshold of noise than breathing, right? Um, and the lowest threshold of, of noise that's quieter than your heart, which you can try as well, is the sound of energy um, moving in the body. So your, your chi. So focusing on the lower dantian is a great, great way of doing that. Um, but if you can't hear your heart, you're not going to be able to hear your, your lower dantian or any of the three dantians. Um, so those are clear benchmarks, right, that we can use. So first start by hearing your heart. Um, and then if that's 
easy peasy for you, then, then move on to the to, to Dantian or, or one of the organs or whatnot. Now, one of the other organs, right? All the organs make sound. Um, now with hearing the heart, now here's a little funny trick, um, a little, uh, that, 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 it, what is the difference between hearing with the ear and feeling the heartbeat, right? So when you get really quiet, you're going to go inside, listen to your heart, how, um, you're going to notice, you're going to feel the heartbeat more than just hear it. But I still want you to think about your ears, right? Think about your ears listening to it, even though, turn your mind off for now. When you're in a session, don't think about it. Just follow the instructions. Um, after a session is a time to think about what actually happened and assess, right? So for now, just kind of turn that off. Um, there, um, there is a relationship uh, between sound, vibration, and movement. Um, so vibration is feeling, right? Uh, so when something vibrates, when there's sound banging on your, your eardrums, there's vibration. Vibration is, is, is movement, and that movement is a feeling, right? So there's a relationship between three things, is uh, um, sound, movement, and feeling, right? And so feeling your heartbeat is related to sound <laughs> in some weird, strange way, which I want you to just kind of just be open to right now. It'll help you uh, get in there, right? And so just listen, listen to the sound of your heartbeat. Um, and then eventually what you want to be able to do is move from the, the heartbeat to, uh, to, to hearing the pre-celestial original chi. Uh, and that is the the energy body, right? And there's something, it's it's the most amazing experience. Um, um, when you shift from listening to the physical body to listening to the subtle body. And it's when you get it, it is so, it is very real. It's a very um, palpable uh, exchange, right? You listen, you can... Uh, there's, a, there's a practice we do where we work with the heart and the, uh, the middle Dantian um, and then moving Qi from the heart into the middle Dantian, working with sound and then doing a Kan and Li practice where we fuse that sound into the lower Dantian. Um, and I'm, I'm always amazed when I do that practice uh, when you, because part of the process is you're, you're first you start by listening to the physical heart bumping, pumping and then you forget that. And you just listen to the sound. You forget the heart, the physical heart. You just listen to the sound. And then you shift from hearing the sound to hearing the energy of the heart. Um, and then that's what you move over into the, the middle, the middle, um, the middle field. But for this, that's a, a, quite a, um, a, um, an involved practice. So I wouldn't try that on your own unless you have the full method for it. it it's it just a lot of moving parts with it. But I just want to use it to, to, share with you this, we can go from sensing the physical body into sensing the energy body. And the two are, they're different. There's this really interesting shift that can happen, especially when you do it with the pre-celestial, pre-heaven original chi um, that can happen with inner hearing, right? And so be open to that. Um, be open to going into your lower Dantian and listening to the lower Dantian. Just listen to the sound of it moving, if you can hear it. It takes time to hear it, right? First, you need a substance there. You need some chi in there and whatnot. But if you got that, then you can start listening. And by listening, the more awareness you put on, um, on that place, so either the middle or lower, lower Dantian, it's going to start creating chi. Right, so there's this, it's like a it's like a feedback loop. You find the chi and you focus on it, and then more chi is is given birth, right? And you're also accumulating more chi. So you can you it, it's um we can go from using awareness and and shen down to chi down to jing and the movement of the jing. Um, so it's an inverted process by doing it this way. It's a lot of fun. Um, so hearing and 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 so this kind of comes to the why hearing is such a profound skill ting um you know there's there's different kinds of senses there's there's to look right to can to look um and this is not not very useful because it has movement you can look around it look at different things but it can't penetrate so look can't penetrate into the body um, and then there's observe so inner observation 
which is uh, guan, ne guan. Um, there's different kinds of guan, different kinds of look, different kinds of guan. Um, so there's turnaround observation, fan guan, and there's ne guan. Uh, and that's good. It's observation guan is, is a, sort of setting up a passive field of observing inside, which can be quite pleasant. And we use it at certain, certain places. Um, and then after that, we have si, right? To to, to, to to actually see. And see has movement, it's not passive, and it can penetrate, right? So that's when we can see into um, sure, right? Uh, nay sure. So inner seeing is, is nay sure. It's not looking, it's not nay can. You don't can, it's just sort of no, looking, it's just very normal, uh, prosaic form of, of looking, right? But seeing the shirt, nay sure, is, is when you. Um, when you penetrate, right? And this is so, so first, you know, you have these different levels of um, which one's better than the other, right? Uh, there's a bit of competition going on between the, the senses, right? So you got look and observes better than, than look and see is better than observe because that's movement and you can penetrate. And then after see is here, uh, there's five altogether. So I'll get to the, the last one next. And so here is above all of that. If you can hear um, it's, and that, and the reason is because you're moving into sensing with your body, you're feeling, right? Because of that relationship between movement, uh, sound, movement, and feeling, vibration, sound is vibration, vibration is feeling. Um, it's easy to go from from hearing some that that vibration or a pulsing to feeling it with the body sensing it with the body right and so there's actually three levels of hearing uh first one is the ears done with the senses right uh, and then it's the body so the body then listens um, and that's generally the body pores so developing the body pores and then the, the third one is shen the spirit so listening with the spirit um, and so there's different um, and so by phasing from the physical body, listening with the ears, into feeling and f feeling, sensing with the body, um, the whatever energetic phenomena is happening, uh, it's just a wonderful way of, of, of tuning into, shifting into our energy body, shift, phasing out of our physical body. Right, and that's why it's best to do it in cross-legged sitting because you want to go deep into deep sessions to do this kind of work, um, and then just stay there for a while, uh, and that's that's how we hear. Uh, so that's inner hearing, and then the fifth one that's that's the the be end end all is to obtain duh, uh, and that is direct experience unmediated by our senses. So that's when you can have direct experience with an object. Um, and often that ob the object that that kind of the, that that's not said but is is meant is the Tao. Really. So you can uh, you have direct experience with the Tao. Um, so I yeah I don't have a lot of experience with that <laughs> myself. So I'm not I'm not going to talk about it. Um, you know I'm working on it. Um, but hearing is profound. There's a lot that it can open up in our practice. It's like a gateway that just, it opens us up into deeper, subtler, more profound experiences of ourself beyond the physical body. And sometimes sitting in stillness and, um, and using some of the other methods isn't enough. We need to, it's, I think we need, we need to, I think need is not overstating. We need to have, um, um, inner seeing, inner hearing, and stillness, and so even some other methods, all working in concert to, to, to really allow our internal alchemy to open up. So if you're a practitioner of internal alchemy, and I know some of my students are, are um, working at this, seeing how, how they, can, they can get things happening, then you know, use inner hearing, right? Bring that into your process. Um, in the online course, um, we have, it's very structured, so it's built in right away, right? Um, for some of you who aren't in that program doing your own thing, then, you know, it's, it's another tool for the toolbox that might be useful for you, okay? So I hope that was um, helpful, uh, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.